Hey guys, VanBjorn20 back again to let you know that new NES games have been added to the Nintendo Switch Online service, so let's go ahead and check them out and see what we got. Okay guys, here we are on the main menu, and for some reason you don't see the new games added to your NES library. What you have to do is actually update the software, and you do that by just pressing the plus button on your controller, and then you go to software update via the internet, and it should look for the update. It should say you're already using the latest version of the software, but if for some reason you do not see the new games, then it should update for you. It should do it automatically, but for some reason you do have to manually do it. I don't know why I've had to do it a couple times, but let's go ahead and open this up and see what new games we have because I honestly do not know. I haven't been keeping up with it. I like to be surprised. It kind of feels like Christmas morning every time uh, new games get added. I really do uh, get excited. So as you can see, it says there's something new to play. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So it looks like we have the, I can't see my friend. There we go. The Adventures of Lolo. So that's cool. We got... Dr. Mario SP. Okay, so this is new. So let's see what's new about this. Let's go to the details and it says, uncover the ultimate truth after beating the game. Uh-oh. Hold on. It's the UFO cover-up. In this special version of Dr. Mario, you're dropped in just before a rare scene that occurs only after clearing the game on level 20 at high speed. This game has been played and loved by many people since its release, but who knows how, how few have seen this fun. Okay, I have never seen that before, so that's cool. So, looks like we're going to see something new, guys, so that's awesome. Next, we have Metroid. Oh, and this is a special one. Let's see what this one's different. It's this... Okay, it's the battle against Ridley. Defeat your arch enemy, uh, Rid uh, Ridley. In this version of Metroid, you start at the battle against... Uh, Ridley, our hero Samus, has all her equipment, including the ice beam upgrade for her weapon, and she's ready to face down her nemesis. So, wow, so that's cool. I'll be honest, guys, I'm not very good at Metroid, and I've never made it that far, so now you can actually just, boom, get right there. I think that's really cool how they add these special uh, uh, additions. Now we have Ninja Gaiden, so that's cool. Then we got Wario Wood. So we have a pretty cool lineup this uh, this month, guys. If you guys do not know, every month Nintendo releases more and more games. Right now they're focusing on the NES library. Down the road, I'm sure they're probably going to give us Super Nintendo games and stuff like that. Or at least one could hope uh, for like Nintendo 64 games. Heck, who knows? Maybe GameCube down the road. Who knows? Uh, the sky's the limit at this point. Who knows with Nintendo? But yeah, check this out, guys. Now, one thing I do want to see... We're going to go through some of the games just to, you know, test them out a bit. Right here is Adventures of Lolo. I'll be honest, guys, never really played this game before, so I don't really know too much about it. So we are going to dig into it just to see what we got here. Just a little cutscene here. Let's just go ahead and skip. Let's go ahead and start. Looks like it's old school, so you can have some passwords. I guess as you progress through the game, you can put some passwords in to save your uh, progress. So that's cool. Never played this game. Guys, leave a comment below. Have you ever played this game before? I honestly have not played this NES game. So this is a first for me. So uh, we'll, we'll just play it for like a minute maybe just to get a feel for it. I'm assuming you're, we're going to collect these. Uh, okay, that's weird. The controls are kind of stiff, but it is an NES game after all. And is that it? Okay, so it looks like the goal is to just get the the hearts, and then you can open up the chest, so that's cool. All right, so I'm not going to keep focusing on this. Let's just get out of here. I'll be honest. I probably won't play too much of it, but it is cool. It seems like a nice, fun, simple game. Let's just go back to the game selection. What I'm really interested in is this Dr. Mario. Um, it's just going to jump you right into level 20. I don't know if I can even beat it at level 20, but we'll see. Okay, so the game is paused, so they have it like a save point for you. All right. Wish me luck. Oh, yeah, this is going pretty quick. This is going pretty quick. So I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to beat this or not. We'll see. I guess you guys will know during the editing process whether I keep this footage or not. Um, all right. If they if, if I get lucky with some blocks here, I, I really want to see this scene that a lot of people haven't seen. I'm assuming if you beat this, you'll actually un you get to see that scene. And as you can see, we're already starting with uh, not that many viruses here that we have to take care of. So they did kind of make it easy for you as long as you don't mess up. Okay, I just need a red block. We should be in business. Now I just need to get rid of that yellow guy and we're good. We should we should have this. I just need to wait for yellow blocks. Here we go. I'm pretty excited. I've never seen this cutscene or whatever we're about to see. There's supposed to, supposedly a UFO. Okay, so let's see. Do we just does it happen or Oh, here it comes. Congratulations. Guys, never seen this before. Virus level 20 speed high. So a lot of people have not seen this, according to Nintendo. Leave a comment below, guys. Have you seen this 
special scene kind of hidden in Dr. Mario. I've never seen it because I'll be honest, I'm not that great at Dr. Mario, so I've never made it to level 20 on high speed. So this is kind of cool. It says there's something about a UFO. I guess we'll just sit here and wait just to see what happens. Here it goes, here it goes. I think this is really cool how Nintendo is giving us these special editions of these games to let us see things that we probably normally wouldn't see. Okay, so they're getting sucked up into the UFO, it looks like. <laughs> That's so random. That's so weird to have it in the Dr. Mario game. See, uh, thank you, Nintendo. Who would have ever noticed that or seen this if it wasn't for this special edition of Dr. Mario? That's really cool, guys. I I'm dying to know. Have you guys ever made it that far and seen that? I definitely have not. Let me know in the comments. Um, all right, let's go ahead and just get out of this and see what else we got here. Let's go to the game selections. We got Metroid, and I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to get into this because this is just basically getting into the the last battle or uh, with with Ridley, so I'm not going to do that. Um, there's Ninja Gaiden here, guys. I am going to jump into this just for a second. I have played this before back in the day. It's been a long time. I know it's very hard, but it's a lot of fun. So we will play just a, you know, for a few moments, maybe a minute, if that, just to show you guys a little bit what this game's all about. So basically, you're like a ninja, and you can, I, I do remember you can, like, cling on the walls and, like, wall jump and stuff, so that's kind of cool. And the game's very hard. I'm actually not doing too bad right now. So as you can see, you can like wall jump, and that's how you're gonna have to, you know, get from place to place. So yeah, this game, man, I, I might actually jump back into this game, guys. This is I'm actually this is actually a really fun game. Really hard. It gets crazy hard. As you can see, you kind of cling to the walls and stuff. So all right, guys. Well, I'm not gonna keep playing it. Like I just wanted to show you guys what this game's all about. A lot of fun. This actually got a lot of good games this week on the NES uh, online service. So. Very, very excited to see where and what games we're going to get next month. All right, so let's go ahead and just get out of this. Awesome. Let's go ahead and go back to the game selection. And we got Wario's Woods. Um, I think I played this. It's been so long, guys, honestly. I know I'm pretty sure I've played this game. It's been such a long time. Let's just jump into it and see what this game's all about. See if it, like, sparks back some memories. Definitely remember the name. But, gosh, it's been so long since I played this game. All right, so it looks like, okay, so you, you just, uh, you have to blow these guys up, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think that's all you do. And I think they're color-coded as you go on, as you progress through the game, too. Did that not? There we go. And I think this should be it, right? I would imagine. There we go, ground clear. I think that's pretty much it. I am going to try one more stage just to see. Okay, hold on. That's interesting. I think you can... Yeah, you can pick up stuff. And that's it. Okay, so that's interesting. Kind of weird. The controls are a little stiff. It is NES. I'm sorry. You got to be honest. It is an NES game, but controls feel a little stiff. But as you can see, it does get color coded where now you have to use the purple bombs on the purple guys and then the blue bombs on the blue guys. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. But yeah, we have a lot of great games this week. We got Wario Woods. We got Ninja Gaiden. We got Metroid, a special edition where you go right to uh, Ridley. You got... Dr. Mario Special Edition, where you can see it, it, it pretty much makes it very easy to where you can see that cool cutscene. You got Adventures of Lolo, guys. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know. Are you satisfied with the games that we got this month? I'm very excited. And what do you think we're going to get next month? As always, guys, that's pretty much all for right now. And there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again. Okay, so I'm looking at the back of the box of my NES Classic Edition, and I'm realizing pretty soon there's no need for this because with the Nintendo Switch Online service, the more and more they release NES games, the more this kind of seems pointless. But at least we have the Super Nintendo Classic. But pretty soon, I'm sure they'll release some, you know, Super Nintendo games. And then you're going to have to scratch your head and wonder, why the heck did I buy this? Thanks for watching the video, guys. I definitely do appreciate it. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're a big Nintendo fan, don't forget to subscribe because I upload Nintendo-related videos all the time. And if you're interested in some VV20 merch, go ahead and visit my new website at vanburen20.com.